the psalmist declared when the Lord not man, not good heart when the Lord doth turn around the captivity of his people they will be like them that doth drink can I prophesy to you by the time you are done with these five days you will look at yourself look at your money look at your honey look at your business look at your health your family life your career your ministry you will tell yourself I look like I'm dreaming but that dream is a reality everything is about to change why it's a kairos moment a window in time in destiny god is set to do something phenomenal in your life have you ever struggled with mental health depression fear marital pitfalls physical health challenges career challenges indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodheart Obi Ikweme. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one, and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rojic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodheart O Ikweme. On Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. The surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive. Makatu shalati ali borutu si ali barala di amali hasuta magalinda la seleki ya kakali mo shatata azata shata la 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 shata ayala di anasa ekaluna no se iya gadula liande la hasilegi ha e la ma fila no se feleti ya kalazi. Abati bali bata ila masha ta kaya taya kaya tia ayali anasali anishali akasi anana masamili kala basi ala bashata ikabala bosi ala bashi ala basi ya on the global prophetic prayer altar it is all about Jesus can your heart be focused upon the Master at this noon watch can you fix your gaze upon Jesus Christ at this altar rabala bosi ala bashi ata bakata er can you come in with honor in your heart can you come in with praise and adoration the protocol to come into his presence is with thanksgiving our thanksgiving is what opens the gate hallelujah can you come in blessing the king of kings and the lord of lords can you come in adoring your father can you lift up your voice in adoration can you shout your praises of hosanna and your hallelujah unto the father praise be unto the king of kings jehovah adonai jehovah el elion the the most high God, there is no other God like our God, there is no rival. Ah, Shalabrala Basi, no other God compares to the King of Kings and the Lord of Lords. Before the Lord Dagon bows, before the Lord, every other God bows. Hallelujah. Hey, Labashata Rekabasi. Can somebody come in putting their trust again on the Father? And you come in telling the Father, I dare to believe you again. In spite of my present circumstances, I come on the GPPA altar and I dare to believe you again. I dare to believe that you are my source. I dare to believe that you are my king. I dare to believe that you are my healer. You are the one who restores me. I dare to believe that you are my God. I dare to believe that you are my solution center. Hallelujah. Malarata, Ekabasia Labasi, all across the nations on the global prophetic prayer altar. Let Jehovah hear your praises at the Snoon Watch. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Labalabosia, what has the Lord done for you? Can you give God thanks? Can you come in counting your blessings, naming them one by one? 
Hallelujah. Perhaps there's somebody who has come on this altar and you're wondering what is it that the Father has done for me in recent times. Can you thank the Father that you're even alive? You can have those kind of thoughts because you're even alive in the first place. Hallelujah. So can you give God thanks for the life, the life, the breath of the Father that is still trapped in your nostrils? Can you give God praise at the snow watch? Can the Father hear you celebrating him, glorifying him, worshiping him, adoring him on the GPPA? Kabashata, Rekabos ya la brala bonde le bos ya la basata. Ah, la bralos ya Psalm 65. Verse 1 to 5 is a scripture that I love so much. Glory be to God. Verse 1 says, Praise waited for thee, O God, in Zion. We're going to say, Praise waits for the Father on the global prophetic prayer altar. Praise waited for thee, O God, on the GPPA, and unto thee shall the vow be performed. O thou that hearest prayer, unto thee shall all flesh come. Iniquities prevail against me. As for our transgressions, thou shalt purge them away. Verse 4 says, Blessed is the man whom thou choosest and causest to approach unto thee, that he may dwell in thy courts. We shall be satisfied with the goodness of thy house, even of thy holy temple. Verse 5 says, By terrible things in righteousness will thou answer us, O God of our salvation, who are the confidence of of all the ends of the earth and of them that are far off upon the sea. Hallelujah. O thou that hearest prayer. On the GPPA, our Father hears prayers. He answers prayers. He does not store prayers. Hallelujah. He hears our prayers on the GPPA. Testimonies abound on this altar. Our God hears us. Hallelujah. It is God who has chosen us and caused us to approach unto him. You know that none of us can get crashed into the presence of the Father. It is God that permits us to come. It is God that qualifies us to enter. It is God who has chosen us and caused us to approach unto him. Can you begin to thank God for the benefit of access, access into his presence, access into the Holy of Holies. Can you thank the Father for divine access that God has granted you and I access. We can come and we can come boldly onto the throne of grace and mercy that we may obtain mercy and find grace to help us in the time of need. Our appropriate help, well-timed help coming just when we need it. It's somebody thanking God on the GPPA, Kabasya Labasa, that you and I are the chosen of the Father. He has chosen us to hear us. He has chosen us to answer us. He has chosen us and caused us to approach into his presence. By terrible things in righteousness, the Lord has answered us on the GPPA. Ah, Jehovah, you are our confidence on the global prophetic prayer altar is somebody thanking the father Rebo Satana Bashata who are we, Father, that you are so mindful of us on the GPPA? Kabarata la bakara bakase kale boshata ekama la bala basya la brakaria la bosya la basa. Can you thank the Father that He constantly is attentive towards your cries and your prayers on the GPPA? Marado satana bashe tekete. O thou that hearest prayer unto thee shall all flesh come. All flesh has come unto the Father at the noon watch on the GPPA. Father barato. You are our confidence on this altar. Rebala bo shala bashata. Rekabasya la brakasya la basa. Yet again, we have convened at this twelve noon watcher to look unto you, for you are indeed our helper, the help of. Uh, your children on the GPPA, the help of Apostle Goodhart, the help of Pastor Bimbo Equebe on this altar. Eh, kala brana bosi alate kata radamato sheke telebo sataya. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we have thanked, hallelujah, we're still in the place of thanking the Father. Our thanksgiving is what opens the gates, hallelujah, into the presence of the King. Riding on the wings of the 5 a.m. watch this morning, we prayed intensely for Apostle Goodhart and Pastor Bimbo Equipment. And you know, as those prayers were going on, something struck me in my heart. We live in a generation of people who love to insult pastors. When you go online, there is no honor for pastors 
people insult pastors, people call pastors all kinds of names. It's like people are waiting for a pastor to fall and then they put it online. And you know what? The, the amazing thing with this thing is that this news is usually driven by believers, driven by Christians. I know it's really heartbreaking. Why not pray for your pastors? Why not pray? Don't wait for a man of God to fall or a woman of God to fall that you may go online and say all kinds of things against these people. When they are in a place of standing and doing the will of the Lord, can you cover them in the place of prayer? And that is what we will be doing in this season. Hallelujah. Isaiah 26 verse 3 says, Thou will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. Thou will keep him in perfect peace. We took time to pray over the mind of Apostle Goodhart and Pastor Bimbo this morning. And we're going to come engaging our thanksgiving hallelujah thanksgiving is the weapon of warfare we're going to say father thank you for keeping apostles mind and keeping the mind of pastor bimbo Ekwebe. if you walk closely with these people and even from afar you can tell that these people have a great mind apostle has a great mind pastor bimbo has a great mind you can see the things that God has used their minds to birth. For example, this altar that we're praying on today is a birth, is a, is a child of their mind. Hallelujah. Glory be to God. Apostle has a rich mind. The things that he conceives are not just in the conception, in the way that they implement the things that they receive from God. You will know that God has blessed them with a rich mind. And you will also know that where your strength is, is where the enemy would like to attack. I want us to say, Father, thank you for for thus far, you have kept their minds in perfect peace. You have kept their minds upon you. Is somebody thanking God on this altar? Father, thank you for keeping their minds in perfect peace, causing their minds to remain stayed on you. Thank you for protecting their minds. Thank you for giving them a sound mind. Thank you for the blood of Jesus over their minds. Hey, Narata Basata. Thank you for deflecting the arrows of the enemy targeted against their minds. Is somebody thanking God on the snow watch while lifting our voices in the place of thanksgiving for Apostle Goodhart and for Pastor B, but that will keep him in perfect peace whose mind is stayed on thee because he trusted in thee. As the apostle has taught us on this altar, thanksgiving is the application for more. Hey, for keeping their mind in perfect peace and causing their minds to remain stayed on you. I'm a father, Lord, causing their minds to trust you. Even when the dream is so big, even when they conceive mighty things, uh, you cause their hearts to trust in you. We give you thanks, we give you praise, Abba Father. For a sound mind for Apostle Gurhan, for a sound mind for Pastor Bimbo Ekweme. Pastor Bimbo has such a rich mind. Uh, you see, it expressed in how she implements things. Uh, can you give God thanks and give God praise uh, for the vessel that God has given unto us uh, on the global prophetic prayer altar for causing their minds to be sharper for defending their minds of a father for repelling the attacks of the enemy against their mind for the peace of God that surpasses all understanding uh, that rests upon their minds, uh, that garrisons their minds. Shela ya la ba shandeleka, o sapate kete kete. We come on this altar at the stone watcher, gathering the spoils of the five air watcher. Abba Father, thank you for your keeping graces over Apostle Goldhart and over Pastor Bimbo. Father, thank you for keeping them, for sustaining them, Abba Father, for watching over them, Abba Father. 
Rosi Alia Cassandre de Bosatata, Rebonda Via Tasia Tana, Tayatana, Tiakaya, Ayala Dandele, Kadu Salia Kamale, Kaya Kalia Makaya Kaka, E Kalia Kalala Kalia Kalaka, E Kataya Kataya Kaya Kaya Kaha, E Kataya Kaya Kaso Toye. Oh, Father, thank you, Lord, for the gift of Apostle Good Heart and the gift of Pastor Bimbo Equipment. Hallelujah. Father, thank you for the gift of the souls that are connected to the global prophetic prayer altar. Hallelujah, hallelujah, hallelujah. I was glad when they said unto me, let us go into the house of the Lord on behalf of our set man, Apostle Goodhart and his dear wife, Pastor Bimbo Ekwebe. I welcome you all to the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar. Hallelujah. It is a public holiday in Nigeria. I encourage you to please hit your share button. Invite your family, your friends, your colleagues, your neighbors, your children. Let everyone know that God is working amazing things on the Global Prophetic Prayer Altar on behalf of of our father, our mentor, our set man, Apostle Goodheart, and his dear wife, Pastor Bimbo Ekwema, you are all welcome in the mighty name of Jesus. We're live across all our social media handles. We're live on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. We're live on Instagram at Apostle Goodheart. We're live on YouTube at GPPA TV. Glory be to God. And we're also live on our online radio station www.radio.rogic.org hallelujah our radio station is airing gppa live right now glory be to god and so if you're on facebook please hit the share button if you're on youtube pick up the links broadcast it on your whatsapp status let people know that god is at work on the gppa if you are a first timer on behalf of our father and our mother you're all welcome to the gppa don't be confused Rogic is simply the acronym for revival house of glory international church um that's the ministry that powers the gppa hallelujah but this is an interdenominational prayer altar glory be to god hallelujah and so if you've subscribed to the lordship of jesus christ you're definitely in the right place glory be to god in the next few minutes i'll be leading you in the place of prayer on this altar prayer is taught and prayer is caught hallelujah and so when i drop the prayer point that's for those who are joining for the first time just push you know, many of us like it when people pray for us. But on the GPPA, guess what? You will learn and develop muscles in the place of prayer. Hallelujah. So I'm going to go straight to the reading of our Sound of Revival devotional for today. Glory be to God. Our theme for today says divine protection is your portion. Divine protection is your portion. Do I hear a loud amen? Hallelujah. Our pilot text is taken from Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18, and it says, And this sign shall follow them that believe. In my name shall they cast out devils. They shall speak with new tongues. They shall take up serpents. And if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Our Bible reading scriptures uh, for today are taken from 2 Kings chapter 4 up until chapter 7. And also Psalm 102. We have embarked on the Bible reading project for the year. And so our scriptures for today are taken from 2 Kings chapter 4 up until chapter 7. And also Psalm 102. And our devotional says, James Salter was son-in-law to the famous British evangelist Smith Wigglesworth. In 1915, James Salter embarked on his first journey to Africa to serve as a missionary in the Congo. Though he faced great challenges, he also saw amazing miracles. Within four years, between 1915 and 1919, he almost died from attacks of malaria and was raised up from his deathbed six times. James and other missionaries with him also faced a lot of hostility from the native witch doctors who resisted their preaching of the gospel. These evil men often poisoned their water and food and also tried shooting poisoned arrows or bullets at them. God protected the missionaries throughout these attacks. One day, the missionaries were enjoying a delicious plate of palm nuts that had been brought to them as a present. They had also finished eating when a young man ran in to warn them that the palm nuts had been poisoned. Since they had already eaten the nuts, 
the missionaries committed themselves to God, claiming the promise of Mark 16, 17 to 18, 18, which said, if they drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt them. Afterwards, they felt absolutely no ill effects from the palm nuts. The man who had poisoned the nuts, after witnessing God's superior power, surrendered his life to Christ and confessed his evil deeds to the missionaries. We live in a world today where the preaching of the gospel is fiercely resisted by the forces of darkness. But despite their attacks, we serve the God who is mighty to save and to deliver us by his awesome power. He is the same God who delivered Shadrach, Meshach, and Abednego from the burning fire. He is the God who brought Daniel out of the lion's den and divided the Red Sea for Israel to escape from Pharaoh's pursuit. Therefore, no matter what you may go through, always be assured that you are destined to come out victorious. It doesn't matter how the enemy fights you. God is committed to protecting you. As long as you walk in covenant with him, God has promised that no evil shall befall you, neither shall any plague come near your dwelling. His name is a strong tower that we run into and we are safe. In this end times, it is vital for us to know how to abide in the covenant of divine protection. The last days on earth are evil, climatic, and perilous, and only the spiritually strong can thrive. We must therefore build up our spiritual depth in Christ. We are now living in an era where every child of God will have to continually manifest the supernatural in order to survive and thrive. By God's grace, we will keep triumphing over the forces of the enemy and keep breaking forth to glorious heights of destiny. Hallelujah. Our prayer for today says, Lord, please help me to become committed to growing spiritually so that I can always overcome the attacks of the enemy. Through faith in your word, I shall never be a victim of the evil of these end times. In Jesus' name. Amen. Hallelujah. Our quote for today, taken from 1 by 2 to 2, says, When we fight by God's help, we are sure of victory. When we fight by God's help, we are sure of victory. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. I'm going to take us back to our pilot text. Mark chapter 16, verse 17 to 18. It says, And this signs shall follow them that believe in my name shall they cast out devils they shall speak with new tongues they shall take up serpents and if they drink any deadly thing it shall not hurt them my brothers and my sisters do you realize that you are god's investment do you realize that god has made a mighty deposit on the inside of your life you know in the natural when we make investments what do we do we do everything to protect our investment so that it doesn't go to ruins how much more our father who is a good good father he has made an investment are you a believer are you a born again child of the living god guess what god's investment resides on the inside of you and that is why the enemy cannot take out your life. That is why you and I cannot be a victim of circumstances. Can you realize, can the eyes of your spirit be opened at this moon watch to realize that there is a mighty deposit of the Father on the inside of you? And there are souls that the Father has connected to you and connected to me. That if you and I become victims of circumstances, many people's lives will be quenched. I want you, first of all, to begin in the place of thanksgiving. Can you thank God for the investment that he has made in your life? Can you thank God that you are an investment of the Father? Therefore, Satan cannot eat up your life like this. We read in this uh, devotional today about uh, James Salter. Can you see how God protected this man? 
Can you see how this man ate something poisonous that had the potential to take his life? But God protected this man's life. And because of that protection, even the one that poisoned him eventually surrendered his life to Christ. Are you aware that your life is a testimony? My life is a testimony. Are you aware that is a, there's a mighty deposit of the Father in you? Can you come out of that place of victimhood? And can you realize how important you are in the assignment of the Father? Father. Can you begin to see your relevance in the kingdom of the Father? Can you begin to determine in your heart that no, Satan cannot just consume it like this. And that is why God has given you and I mighty angels. That is why God has secured your life. That is why God is protecting you and me. Even when we sleep, God does not sleep. He is awake to watch over you because you are an investment of the Father. Can you give God thanks and praise at this noon watcher that your life is not an empty life? Uh, and this sign shall follow them that believe. You and I are a sign and a wonder to our generation. No, I am not an empty vessel. No, I am not an irrelevant person. I am an investment of the Father. Therefore, I enjoy divine protection. Therefore, I cannot be a victim of circumstance. He has said, in his name, you and I will cast out devil so ah labrado sekete we shall speak with new tongues. We shall take up serpents. And if we drink any deadly thing, it shall not hurt us. We shall lay hands on the sick and they shall recover. Is somebody thanking the Father at the snow watch? Thank you, Abba Father, for you are our defense. Thank you, Father, that you are our protection. Even when we sleep, the arrows of hell are raging. But Jehovah stands guard over our lives, over the lives of our children, over the lives of our families. Somebody come out of that victimhood mentality. I know you have gone through all kinds of traumas, but guess what? You are an investment of the Father. You are relevant in the kingdom of God. You are a person of value, and your value cannot be estimated. Father, thank you, Lord. Rekaboshi alabashata. Ekalabashia, thank you for your protection, Abba Father, Lord. Rekaboshi alabashia. Now I know that Satan cannot consume me. Ekalabranaboshia. Now I know that my life cannot end up in shambles. Rekaboshi alabashia labosata. Because we are divinely protected on this altar. Hallelujah. Balebosa will believe and therefore will receive for in the mighty name of Jesus we have prayed hallelujah blessed be the name of the Lord yes you are an investment of the father yes your life has meaning yes your life and my life are relevant to the kingdom of the father and with that we're just going to dive into our prayer focus at this noon watch glory be to God if you are yet to share the link or share the page on Facebook, I encourage you to please do so and begin to just put on your armor because we're going to go into a time of intense warfare. Our prophetic theme for the month of April is good news, going forth for a break forth. And our pilot text for the month is taken from Mark chapter 16, verse 20, and it says, and they went forth and preached everywhere. The Lord working with them and confirming the word with signs following. Amen. Hallelujah. Do you know that your life and my life is a message? Look at the scripture in 2 Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 3. I'll read it from the NLT. He says, are we beginning to praise ourselves again? Are we like others who need to bring you letters of recommendation or who ask you to write such letters on their behalf? Surely not. The only letter of recommendation we need is you 
yourselves. Your lives are a letter written in our hearts. Everyone can read it and recognize our good work among you. Clearly, you are a letter from Christ showing the result of our ministry among you. This letter is written not with pen and ink, but with the spirit of the living God. It is carved not on the tables of stone, but on human hearts. Do you know why the enemy is fighting so hard against your life? Do you know why the enemy is trying to make a mess of your life? The answer is in the scripture that I have just read, 2 Corinthians 3, verse 1 to 3. You are a testimony. Your life is a testimony. My life is a testimony. Our lives are a message. Hallelujah. And that is why Satan has made such an investment in making a ruin of the message of our lives. Is your health under attack? It is a message of your life that the enemy is after. Is there a crisis in your marriage? It is the message of your life that the enemy is attacking. Is there, a, is there chaos in your ministry, man of God, woman of God? It is the message of your life that the enemy is attacking. Hallelujah. And the enemy is invested in trying to make a mess of our lives, to corrupt the message and make men believe that there is no benefit to serving the Father. At this moment, what we're going to be contending for our lives and the message of our lives. And that takes me to our prophetic message for the year, break forth. Can you tell yourself that it is time for me to break forth? It is time for me to break forth. If you and I don't break forth, we'll find it difficult to spread the message of Jesus Christ. We'll find it difficult to share the message of Jesus Christ with anybody. Hallelujah. I want us to begin in the place of thanksgiving. Isaiah 54, which is our pilot text for the year. Verse 1 to 3, I'll read from the Amplified Classic. It says, Sing, O barren one, you who did not bear. Break forth into singing and cry aloud, you who did not travail with child. For the spiritual children of the desolate one will be more than the children of the married wife, says the Lord. Enlarge the place of your tent, and let the curtains of your habitations be stretched forth. Spare not, lengthen your cords, and strengthen your stakes. For you will spread abroad to the right hand and to the left, and your offspring will possess the nations and make the desolate, place, desolate cities to be inhabited. Can you begin to thank God for the prophetic word, break forth? Can you say, Father, thank you that the prophetic word, break forth, is being made manifest in my life? Can you lift up your voice? For when we break forth, we spread abroad to the right hand and to the left. The message of Christ goes to the nations when we break forth. The message of our lives is the message of Jesus Christ. Can you say, Father, thank you that this word becomes a reality in my life. Hallelujah. Can you say, Father, thank you for translating this word into my life, making it manifest, making it evident. I am breaking forth on every side. For indeed, we shall spread abroad on the GPPA to the right hand and to the left hand. Now. And as we spread abroad, the message of Jesus will spread abroad. Haya, katai, Radabasia, can you come in with thanksgiving? Ah, Radabasia, Labasia, that the word is being made manifest in your life. Ah, Radabasia, he says, sing, go barren one, you who did not be a break forth into singing and cry aloud. Ah, ye kabala basia la brakasia la basata. In spite of the barrenness, ah, can you dare to believe the word of the Father that says in this year we shall break forth? Ah, Radabasia, Tabasata, Rekabasia la brakaya la basiata, Rekanasia la boshata. Thank you for the manifestation of break forth in my life. Thank you, Father, for the message of my life. Breaks forth. It spreads abroad. I am a letter of Christ to the world. I am a letter of Christ to the world. 
like I said, if you are a first timer, can you pray for yourself? That your life is a message of Jesus Christ to the world. And as your life breaks forth, the message of Christ breaks forth. Oh, Father, thank you for the manifestation of the prophetic word. Break forth over our lives. We break forth to the north, we break forth to the south, the east, and the west. We enlarge the place of our tent. We stretch out the curtains of our habitations. We lengthen our cords and we strengthen our stakes. We And that is why Satan is trying to corrupt your message, trying to corrupt the message of your life. But we're going to war for our lives at this noon watch. Glory be to God. Are you ready to fight for your life? Zechariah 9, verse 11 to 12 from the Amplified Classic says, As for you also, because of and for the sake of the covenant of the Lord with his people, which was sealed with sprinkled covenant blood, I have released and send forth your imprisoned people out of the waterless pit. Verse 12 says, return to the stronghold of security and prosperity, you prisoners of hope. Even today do I declare that I will restore double of your former prosperity to you, hallelujah, because of and for the sake of the covenant of the Lord with his people, uh, which was sealed with sprinkled covenant blood, I have released and send forth your imprisoned people out of the waterless pit. I don't know what represents a waterless pit in your life. I don't know what represents a barren land in your life. I don't know where you have experienced dryness, barrenness. Perhaps it's in your health, your marriage. Perhaps you're married and you're yet to receive the fruit of the womb. I don't know where Satan is trying to corrupt the message of your life. Can you begin to war with the blood of Jesus? You're saying by the power of the blood of Jesus, I call forth my life out of every waterless pit. I declare in the name of Jesus that my life must count for the kingdom. My life must count for the sake of the gospel. My life must count for the name of Jesus Christ. I refuse to live a useless life. I refuse to live a worthless life. I refuse that the message of my life be corrupted. Can you begin to war with the blood of Jesus? By the blood, I come out of every waterless pit. By the blood of Jesus, I come out of every barren land. By the blood of Jesus, I I come out of every dryness. Uh, now you know that you are in the investment of the Father. Now you know that you are relevant in the scheme of things in this kingdom. And now you know that you are a person of worth. Uh, can you begin to wrestle for your life? Can you begin to wrestle for your destiny? Can you begin to wrestle for the destiny of your children, uh, that the message of your life will not be corrupted, uh, that the message of your life will not be stolen, uh, that the message of your life uh, will not be polluted. Uh, somebody begin to war her. But the blood of Jesus, I come out of every waterless pit. Uh, but the blood of Jesus, I come out of every barren, barren land. Uh, but the blood of Jesus, I come out of every dry land. Uh, 
Shatter, by the blood of Jesus, my life must count for the kingdom of God. Ah, by the blood of Jesus, my life must count for the message of the gospel of Jesus Christ. By the blood of Jesus, my life will draw souls to the kingdom of God. By the message of the blood, by the power of the blood, somebody begin to invoke the blood of Jesus. I come out of every waterless pit. Can you begin to wrestle for your destiny? Hey, my children's lives will matter for the gospel. Hey, the life of my spouse will matter for the kingdom of God. We war against the mess of hell, contending against the message of our lives. Do you know that there are people that are watching your life? Do you know that there are people that are reading your life? There must be something about your life that will attract people to Jesus Christ. There must be something about your life. We live in a generation where people are being told that Jesus does not answer prayers, that there is no benefit to serving the Lord. But do you know that? That your life and my life is an epistle. Do you know that your life and my life can draw people to the knowledge of Jesus Christ? Can you begin to contend for your life? Oh, Father, the Lord has sent you and I into the world uh, carrying the message of Jesus Christ. Uh, our lives are a messenger. Uh, our lives must count uh, by the weapon of the blood. Uh, my life must count. Uh, my husband's life must count. Uh, my children's lives must count. Uh, we war against the mess of hell, uh, contending against the message of our lives. Uh, when we walk in poverty, the message to the world is that our Father cannot look after us. Uh, when we walk in infirmity and sickness, uh, the message our lives is given to the world is that our Father cannot heal. Uh, that devil is a liar. My life must counter for the gospel of the kingdom of God. My life must counter. Is somebody warring for their lives? My life must counter for the message of Jesus Christ. My life must counter. I war with the blood against every activity of hell, corrupting the message of my life. By the blood, I come out of every waterless bitter. By the twelve of that scripture says, Return to the stronghold of security and prosperity, you prisoners of hope. Even today, do I declare that I will restore double your former prosperity to you. Ah, but the blood will return to the stronghold of security and prosperity. I return as a prisoner of hope. I return to the place of double restoration of all that the enemy has taken from me and all that the enemy has taken from me. I don't know what the enemy has stolen from you. Oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God, oh God. Oh God, oh God, oh God. 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 Oh I know the enemy has messed up your life uh, in such a way that you don't even believe the word of God anymore. Ah, uh, you have come to the place of restoration. I said that so strongly in my heart as I just read the scripture. He says, today do I declare 
that I will restore double your former prosperity to you. You have come to the place of restoration at this noon watch. I don't know what Satan has taken from you. I don't know what Satan has stolen from you. Perhaps he has taken away your peace. Perhaps he has taken away your honor. Perhaps he has taken away your faith. Guess what the Father is saying? Even today, do I declare that I will restore double your former prosperity to you? It doesn't matter what the enemy has taken from you, but the blood of Jesus will return to the stronghold of security and prosperity. Jehovah is restoring the message of our lives uh, for indeed we are the message of Jesus Christ to the world. Joel 2 verse 25. Hallelujah, Father, thank you for your intervention at this noon watch. Glory be to God. Joel 2 verse 25. He says, and I will restore or replace for you I'm reading from the Amplified Classic. Thank you, media. And I will restore or replace for you the years that the locust has eaten. The hopping locust, the stripping locust, and the crawling locust, my great army, which I sent among you, and you shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord your God, who has dealt wondrously with you, and my people shall never be put to shame. And you shall know, understand, and realize that I am in the midst of Israel, and I'm the, I, that I, the Lord, am your God, and there is none else. My people shall never be put to shame. Can you ask the Lord to restore your life, to restore all that the locust has eaten in your life, to replace for you your lost years? To replace for you what the locust has eaten, the hopping locust, the stripping locust, the craw crawling locust. Hallelujah. Media, please give me the scripture in the King James Version. Hallelujah. Uh, the spirit of restoration is here at this new watch. Can you ask the Father in his mercy to restore your life, to restore all that the locust has eaten? Ratabashia, rabosia. Give me verse 25. Thank you so much. It says, and I will restore to you the years that the locust had eaten, the canker worm and the caterpillar and the palmer worm, my great army, which I sent among you. I don't know what the locust has eaten. I don't know what the canker worm has eaten. I don't know what the caterpillar and the palmer worm has eaten in your life. But guess what? You have come to the place of restoration at the snow watch. Hallelujah. Kapania soto aradabosi abrakasia rabasa. Can you cry out for restoration? Jehovah says uh, that we shall eat in plenty and be satisfied. And praise the name of the Lord, hallelujah, who has dealt wondrously with us on the global prophetic prayer altar. And his people shall never be put to shame. Oh, Jehovah is wiping away your tears. Uh, he's taking that shame away. He's restoring your life. Uh, he's bringing us into a place of eating in plenty. We shall and indeed be satisfied on this altar. Makabare katia kasakata. Rabababasia tabashata. Is somebody crying out to the Father? I will restore or replace for you the year that the locust has eaten. Uh, Jehovah is redeeming somebody's time at the snow watcher. He's redeeming our lost years, redeeming all that the enemy has stolen from us, uh, the quality of our lives, uh, the quality of our relationship with him uh, is being restored at the snow watcher. He's restoring our finances, our resources, our marriages. Uh, it doesn't matter what Satan has taken out. Uh, we have come to the place of restoration. Exodus chapter 33 verse 1 from the Amplified Classic says, and God said, I will make all my goodness pass before you and I will proclaim my name, the Lord before you, for I will be gracious to whom I will be gracious and will show mercy and loving kindness 
on whom I will show mercy and loving kindness. Can you ask the Lord to satisfy your life with goodness, satisfy your life with loving kindness, to satisfy your life with tender mercies? Uh, Abba Father, satisfy our lives with your goodness. Uh, make all of your goodness pass before us on the GPPA. Father, make all of your goodness pass before Apostle Goodheart and Pastor Bimbo on the GPPA. Can you ask the Lord to satisfy your life uh, with all of his goodness? Uh, I will make all my goodness pass before you. Exodus 33 verse 1. Our Father, make all of your goodness pass before us on the GPPA. Make your loving kindness pass before us. Uh, cover us with your tender mercies. Uh, and Psalm 23 verse 6 surely or only goodness mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life and through the length of my days the house of the Lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place surely only goodness mercy and unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life Abba Father make all of your goodness pass before us on the GPPA God uh, cover us with your goodness cover us with your mercy cover us with your unfailing love uh, to bring us into fresh encounters uh, with you our father Labashata, Rekamatosa, Labasa, restore our hope uh, restore our favor Ratabashi, is somebody praying at this moon watch our father lord uh, Ayadosa, let all of your goodness pass before me let all of your goodness pass before my husband Pass before my wife, pass before my children. Rada Bosi Abrakase, Rada Masi Katosha Nabasata, Rekabosi Anabasa, a surely only goodness and mercy. And unfailing love shall follow me all the days of my life. And through the length of my days, the house of the Lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place. Somebody receive the goodness of the Father. We receive your goodness again. Abba Father, Radosia Labosia will receive your unfailing love, your tender mercies, Radabonda Labasia Laboya Lanabasa, your loving kindness, Ali Pondayata, Radabosi Alapendo Shatalabasa, for in the mighty name of Jesus. We have prayed, hallelujah. Hey, Labosia, Jehovah has brought us into a dimension of his restoration at the snow watch. And we're going to be crying out for the healing reign of the Father. I know so many of you are wounded. So many of you are in despair. So many of you have lost your faith and your hope. And guess what, Joel 2 verse 28 to 29 after he has restored us get guess what god says he says and afterward i will pour out my spirit upon all flesh and your sons and your daughters shall prophesy your old men shall dream dreams your young men shall see visions even upon the men servants and upon the maid servants in those days will i pour out my spirit ah, zechariah 10 Verse 1 from the Amplified Classic says, Ask of the Lord rain in the time of the latter or spring rain. It is the Lord who makes lightnings which usher in the rain and give men showers and grass to everyone in the field. Can you ask the Father to pour out his Holy Spirit upon you afresh? Can you ask God for the healing rain? As the Lord for a fresh outpouring of his healing rain upon you. The rain of the Father that brings healing and nourishment and comfort. In the places where we have been traumatized in the places where we have been wounded, Mala Brokosa, ask of the Lord rain in the time of the latter rain. Radabosia, Father, pour out your spirit upon us afresh on the GPPA. Kabosata, we ask for 
Father, for the fresh outpouring of your healing rain. Healing from the shame and healing from the abuse and healing from the traumas. A fresh outpouring of your spirit upon Apostle Goodheart, upon Pastor Bimbo Equemelaleka, Yala Batena Nosi Alekaya, Azine Nenemosi, Akiele Lebosha, Ilebosi, Aliana Sote, Ayadaya Laya De, Yala Labosia, Kadaba, Ekamosha Labrocosa, let the weavers of your spirit be begin to flow afresh on this global prophetic prayer altar. Let the river of life begin to flow afresh. Let the healing river be released on the GBPA to heal minds, to heal hearts. For the renewal of our spirit, Abba Father, Yadosa is somebody praying. A fresh outpouring of your spirit upon us in the place of prayer, in the place of word study. For in the mighty name of Jesus, we have prayed. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of of the lord this is our month of going forth for break forth glory be to god first john 1 verse 1 to 2 from the amplified classic says we are writing about the word of life in him who existed from the beginning whom we have heard who we have seen with our own eyes who we have gazed upon for ourselves and have touched with our own hands. Verse 2 says, And the life and aspect of his being was revealed, made manifest, demonstrated, and we saw as eyewitnesses, and are testifying to, and declare to you the life, the eternal life in him, who already existed with the Father, and who actually was made visible, was revealed to us, his followers. Hallelujah. The disciples were eyewitnesses, and so they could testify about Jesus Christ. They said with their own mouths that they heard, they saw, they gazed upon him, and they touched him with their own hands. And that was why they were driven to share the gospel, because they had had an encounter. If you and I don't come to this dimension, we will struggle to tell people about Jesus Christ. If we don't become living witnesses, if we don't have this, you know, koinonia with the Father, it will be a struggle to tell people about Jesus Christ. And remember that you are a letter of Christ written to the whole world. Can you begin to ask, Father, help me to hear, help me to see, help me to taste Jesus, help me to be a living witness, empower me to be a living witness, empower my life to be a living witness for Christ and for the kingdom. Can you ask the Lord for fresh encounters, fresh experiences with Jesus Christ that you can speak with this kind of confidence? John spoke with this confidence because he was an eyewitness, hallelujah. E Kabasi, because he was an eyewitness, he had no struggle testifying about Jesus Christ. Can you begin to ask the Father for fresh encounters? Help me to see Jesus. Help me to hear Jesus. Help me to taste Jesus. Oh, taste and see that the Lord is God. That we may be living witnesses upon the GPPA. Empower us. Empower our lives to be a living witness. Oh, Father, give us fresh encounters and give us fresh experiences on this altar. Make us one with your spirit again, Abba. Father help us to touch Jesus help us to hear Jesus help us to taste Jesus help us to experience Jesus make us eyewitnesses that we will not struggle in the place of testifying and declaring the power of Christ to our world Father 
yade kapane mosi ataya for in the mighty name of jesus we have prayed hallelujah in the next one minute can you lift up your nation before the father glory be to god now you understand why the enemy is raging not just against your life but against your nation his attempt is to corrupt the message of jesus christ in your nation you know we can't stop praying for our nation because evil has an expiry date guess what no matter how thick the darkness it has an expiry date and that is why we need to maintain our prayers for the nation psalm 23 verse 6 says surely or only goodness mercy and unfading love shall follow me all the days of my life and through the length of my days the house of the lord and his presence shall be my dwelling place can you ask the lord to overshadow your nation with his goodness his mercy and his unfading love can you ask the lord to uphold your nation through the season of darkness abba father sustain my nation with your goodness sir this is a global altar wherever you have connected from can you ask the father to overshadow your nation with his goodness his mercy and his unfading love wherever you've connected from can you pray ghana Japan, Indonesia, South Africa, Zimbabwe, Zambia, wherever you have connected from, can you be an intercessor for your nation? Abba Father, overshadow Nigeria with your goodness and your mercy and your unfailing love through the seasons of darkness. Abba Father, we have understanding now that wickedness endures only for a season. Now. Darkness endures only for a season. Now. Therefore, we will uphold our nation in the place of prayer overshadow Nigeria with your goodness overshadow Nigeria with your mercy overshadow Nigeria with your unfading love all the days of this nation's life the message of Christ in Nigeria will not be polluted it will not be corrupted no matter what our physical eyes are seeing we stand with the message and the power of Christ that light will prevail no matter how thick the darkness the light of God and the light of the gospel will prevail in our nations. Hallelujah. Can you begin to give God thanks and praise Radabosia for God has restored the message of our lives, the message of our nations. Radabosia na bashata na bakarabakata. Radabosia na batia faria basata. Father, thank you for restoration. Perhaps you're on this altar and you have come with a burden we're out of time i'll just give you a few seconds can you go to god in a place of personal supplication can you present that burden before the father and wrap that personal supplication with thanksgiving because on this altar it is settled by the help of the holy spirit can you talk to the father and for those who are yet to make the lord jesus christ their personal lord and savior don't let this moment pass you by this is what this altar is all about souls god is a lover of souls and it is not his will that any one of us should perish and so if you're on this altar and you're yet to give your life to jesus christ can you quickly say this prayer after me but don't just repeat it after me can you say it from the depths of your heart lord jesus i come to you today just as i am I open the door of my heart and I invite you in. I repent of all my sins. Father, forgive me. Cleanse me in the precious blood of Jesus Christ. Lord Jesus, I invite you into my heart today. Come and be my Lord and my Savior now and forevermore. Amen. 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 And I agree with you in the place of prayer that your name will indeed be written in the Lamb's Book of Life. Apostle has made materials available to you. If you have said this prayer, please contact us. Our details are on the screen. Media, please help us. I know that you have testimonies. Please send them to ApostleGoodheart at gmail.com. ApostleGoodheart at gmail.com. And you can reach us on plus 234 704 922 2234. Plus 234 704-922-2234. Hallelujah. Blessed be the name of the Lord. Can we share the grace in fellowship? 
May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, the love of God, and the sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit rest and abide with us now and forevermore. Amen. Surely God's goodness and his mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives, and we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever and ever. See you tomorrow morning, 5 a.m. with a possible heart. Shalom. When you got healed by God's word, if you want to now walk in divine health, stay with the same word. Don't wait to be sick to go back to the word. Oh, yeah, 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 yeah. That means once you're well, behave as though you need the word because you need the word. The same word that got you off the bed of affliction will sustain you in well-being over years if you stayed with the word. So don't wait to be sick to look for the word. Let's strive to maintain a healthy diet of the word of God in the area of healing. Have, have you ever struggled with mental health, depression, fear, marital pitfalls, physical health challenges, career challenges, indecision, other issues of life, or would you just like to strengthen your spirituality? Then join men and women across the globe, breaking the limits and soaring high on the global prophetic prayer altar with Apostle Goodhart's OB equipment. Even in these challenging times, every weekday from 5 a.m. to 6 a.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one and 12 noon to 1 p.m. Greenwich Median Time plus one. Available on internet radio at www.radio.rogic.org and on YouTube at GPPA TV, on Periscope at Goodhart's O equipment on Instagram at Apostle Goodheart and on Facebook at Apostle Goodheart. The Global Prophetic Prayer Altar, the surest way to get timely resources to stabilize your life in every area. Your unmerited mercy or favor made available to us. We give you praise. We receive.